All right, I just wanted to go over uh, one more little thing here in the key of C. Um, let's do a one, four, five pattern here. And I'm going to use this four fingered chord now in this. And keep in your mind a song like you could, a pattern like Blue Ridge Cabin Home, which most people normally wouldn't do in C. But, oh, there's a, there's a Stanley Brothers tune called uh, Let Me Love You One More Time. And Ralph plays in C. And it has this same progression, too. So you could, you could think about that <laughs> doing this progression also. But we're going to do something like this. want to go over this and show you that you can do this um, keep in mind these transition notes or lead-in notes we've already gone over all that now to get from F to G it's pretty simple all we're gonna do is bring this middle finger over here to the fourth string and that's going to be our lead-in note to the G. Remember our G roll. So that's what we're going to do. And if you keep in mind that that lead-in note, that transition note, is in the previous chord, what we're doing, we're, we're going to play that while we're still in F, actually. And as we do that, we can raise up the rest of our fingers. So see, we're back. Here's our, going to be our G chord there. So it's like this. Didn't get my C note there. Here we do that again from the F. I was going to go over maybe point out in G. When you get in the key of G, it's kind of a G free-for-all there. You can use whatever G licks you know. And we're back in our C. Let me go over this again here. Uh, go, uh, slowly. Get an idea of what we're going to do here. into the C there it's just that forward roll slide don't know if we went over that yet or not it's just a thumb index middle forward roll from the from the third string down and I'm playing a, a pinch or what do you want to call it double stop with the first and second strings there in our, our C chord Let's try something else here. See there in G, I'm just demonstrating you can put your G licks in there. Then I wanted to say that up to this point, if you watched all my videos, we've covered pretty much G and 145 and 1415 changes, and we've got in C and did the same thing. So this should give you enough in your arsenal to get in those jam sessions. And we've covered every major key because with the use of the capo now, with your G position, You've got your A flat, A, B flat, B, C. Put that capo on and play all those G licks. And you've got those keys covered. 
And same thing, put your capo on and you can play D, E, F right on up here out of your C position. So get in those jam sessions and play and pick and have fun.